you. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thanks for coming to Mesa Morning Live. Tell us, uh, this is awesome. Amber is a rocket scientist. Is that what they expected? They are so baffled. <laughs> they, were, they were stunned into silence. Uh, that, is, that is fascinating. I don't think I've ever met a, a rocket scientist. Well, hi, I'm Amber. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about, uh, well, tell us about your background. Um, well, first of all, I'm a rocket scientist and spacecraft systems engineer with Lockheed Martin and NASA working on the Orion program, which is a spacecraft that's replacing the space shuttle and taking humans to moon, Mars, and asteroids. Wow. Boy, that is... <laughs> you know, that's rocket science. <laughs> Um, well, that's cool. Where are you from? Originally Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Woo! Woo! Wow. <laughs> we have some Wisconsinites in the crowd. Wonderful. A bunch of beer drinkers is what they are. <laughs> it happens. Originally and now living in? Uh, Houston, Texas at the NASA Johnson Space Center and Denver, Colorado, where we do a lot of our spacecraft integration work. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Well, well, that's great. Now, tell us um, about the, you've got an event tomorrow night. Yes. And, uh, oh, there we go. That's that's you. <laughs> yes, uh, that's me and one of my microgravity flights from doing microgravity research, like they do on board the International Space Station. I'm really excited to be here uh, on behalf of the Idea Museum. I'm doing um, an event there tomorrow where we're talking about human spaceflight exploration and, and some of the fun and exciting things going on in the spaceflight community. In addition to you know ways that people can be involved and inspiring the next generation of scientists and engineers. Well, that's great. Um, so tell us about the, I, I'm, I'm not familiar with the Idea Museum, so tell, do you know anything? Of, of I do. Um, it's, <laughs> I would hope. I forgot you're a rocket scientist. <laughs> um, the, the Idea Museum has been actually around for about 38 years now. It just got rebranded uh, last year in 2014, and it is a, a lovely museum that you should really come check out tomorrow for the event. Which and is, where is it located? It's here in Mesa. Do you know it? I, I, I'm throwing you a curveball. Do you have a physical address? I bet somebody does. I, there are absolutely somebody ah. who does. If you, if you, thank you. If you read the. Like, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just be over here if you need me. <laughs> just take take over. Wow. I couldn't see because of the flag. <laughs> no idea how, how that figures in. Well, that's cool. So the event is tomorrow. Now I can see from 6 to 9.30 at the Idea Museum on uh, Pepper Pl Well, that's close to the chamber. Mm -hmm. Right right there by the chamber. Very cool. And um, what's going to happen? What, what will these give us a little teaser preview of what they'll see? Um, let's see. So there's, there's, I think, dinner and cocktails. There's a really awesome MC. Um, they're doing a silent and live auction for some exciting stuff, and then I'll be there in keynoting as well. When you said there's an awesome MC, you, you kind of said that like you were mocking me. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I've been looking forward to meeting her. I have not yet met her, and so all I'm right, excited all right, about that. All right, that's cool. Well, you know what? Somebody's going to win uh, compliments of Mesa Morning Live. We've got two complimentary guest passes. And I'm going to let uh, Amber present this. We've already pre-drawn this. And the winner is uh, Lee Miller from Lee's Auto Repair. Where are you, Lee? <laughs> you been there? When, when Amber's finished, we'll make sure you guys, you can, you can shake hands and meet a rocket scientist. <laughs> and, and you can meet Lee. So there you go. Well, that's awesome. Uh, we thank you so much for stopping by. What, um, does a rocket scientist, do you watch like, uh, are you a science fiction fan? Do you, do you get all caught up in uh, uh, Star Wars and all that kind of stuff? Um, I, I don't actually own a TV. Really? Yeah, I, I, I study Look work Look what you life. can accomplish when you're not wasting all your time <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> awesome. If I threw my TV away, I could have been a scientist. You could be a scientist while watching TV, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Don't awesome. Worry. Cool. Well, we thank you so much. I'm going to look here. Um, uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else we need to cover. I think you did a great job. Thanks, Amber. Uh, how long are you in town for? 
I'm in town through Sunday, and um, I have the pleasure of staying at the Phoenix Mesa Marriott, compliments of Don Gibson, uh, who are a big sponsor of the event as well. So. Oh, that's cool. You know what? I got a question here. Oh. This is how dumb I am. I accidentally <sighs> touched the iPad, guys. I'm not sure how I did this, and it shrunk the screen down. And because I'm not a rocket scientist, I don't even know how to make a big again. So here's a question. Uh, oh, here's, this is just a statement from Kelly. She says, my kids. Oh, there we go. That's awesome. <laughs> he, uh, it was funny the first time. Thank you. You know how he knew how to do that? He doesn't have a TV either. Uh, just a quick comment. My kids love the idea of the museum. It's a great family activity, and the exhibits are amazing. That's from Kelly Banks. So uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to the Valley of the Sun. We hope you love it here. And you know what? We're a real short little flight. Now, now do you fly in and like on commercial, or do you come in in a rocket? Uh, I, I, I wish. I that don't, would be awesome. I don't fly in a rocket yet. Well, you're welcome back. Please come to the Valley whenever possible. And thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank and you. make sure you give those passes to that gentleman there. Thank, thank you, Amber. You. Big round of applause. Thank you.